Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the groundbreaking ceremony for our new College of Education building here on campus at Western Oregon University. For those watching online, it is Saturday, June 14th, and we're broadcasting live from Monmouth, Oregon. <laughs> My name is Mark Gerard, and I serve as Dean of the College of Education. We have a short but powerful program for you this morning, including several speakers and a date with some golden shovels I see back here. <laughs> speakers include Danny Ledesma, Education Policy Advisor for Governor John Kitzhopper, Mr. Jan Looking Wolf Ryback from the Confederated Tribes of Grand Ronde, Travis Mavison, 2013 14 Student Body President. University President Mark Weiss, Dr. Richard Woodcock and his wife Elizabeth. We're, we'll hear final comments from President Weiss and we'll close with the ceremonial groundbreaking led by Jan Looking Wolf Ryback. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us here this morning as I see many of our faculty, staff and even a few students. As I look around, I'd also like to say thank you to our WOU Foundation board members in attendance. Also to Tim Nesbitt on behalf of the Higher Education Coordinating Commission. To Hilda Roselli, former Dean of the College of Education, now representing the Oregon Education Investment Board. As well as to Dr. Richard Woodcock, our generous benefactor. Dr. Woodcock is joined by several of his family members this morning. Thank you so much for, for being with us. As we break ground today, I, I'd like to share with you a few details about the building that will soon stand where we're gathering here today. Our building design team has been working hard across the last several months to consider carefully our needs, our desires, and our dreams. To meet the demands and opportunities in teaching and learning today, our new building will, will include several features. Technology-rich classrooms and community spaces, including multiple computer labs, a language learning lab, and a full multimedia production suite. Specially designed collaborative learning spaces to facilitate communication, connections, and innovation across faculty, staff, and students. Specific classroom spaces for teaching and learning in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, early childhood education, second language acquisition, and special education. Our new building will also serve as a, as a demonstration project for the governor's initiative on innovative uses of wood products and locally sourced materials. Dr. Woodcock and family from faculty, staff, and students here at Western Oregon University, thank you for your generosity. Your gift will have a lasting impact on the quality education we provide here at Western Oregon University. Thank you. And thank you for having me here today. My name is Danny Ledesma, and I'm Governor Kitzhaber's Education Policy Advisor. And I'd like to um, offer congratulations and best wishes to everyone here today. As you know, our governor has laid out ambitious and audacious education goals for our state. And we know to achieve these goals, we need to continue to build the pipeline of effective, innovative, and inspiring educators to lead our way in our state. And so it's with this in mind that we hope that this will continue to be fertile ground that cultivates the very best educators in our state here. And so on behalf of our governor, John Kitzhopper, I want to extend our congratulations and best wishes for Western Oregon University. Thank you. Sushi San, good morning. I'm Jen uh, Looking Wolf Ryback, and I'm from the Triber Grand Ron. I'm the museum manager and the cultural director. Pardon my dress, I just came from another ceremony. <laughs> I'll keep this brief, but I'd like to acknowledge the great work that our governor is doing in cultural diversity and supporting Native American tribes in Oregon, and also uh, to give this blessing to this great university for recognizing the indigenous people here. The Confederated Tribes Grand Ron our lands extended all the way from 
southern Washington to northern California before we were marched to our reservation in Grand Ronde in 1856. We have over 27 bands and tribes of the Grand Ronde people. We have a great relationship with Western Oregon University. We're looking forward to more collaborations with this staff that is so committed to excellence in education for the community. And I'd just like to thank them for recognizing our ancestors here. And it's an honor to be here to give this blessing. So I'll keep this prayer brief, but please know it's a sincere prayer. And before I offer this prayer, at the end you'll hear me say, Hayumasi. It's like, hi, you, and then like, masi on a tree. Hayumasi. And we say that uh, many thanks. So uh, everybody want to try that? Hayumasi. Hayumasi. So we can say that together in unity today. And truly the tribe owes many thanks to our great partners here in Oregon and many thanks to this university for yet another excellent endeavor. So we'll just say a quick prayer. And feel free to pray however you pray uh, like that, it's fine. Sahalitai Ishtima, Nagawawashushkaba Ishtima. Creator, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this blessing and for this university and for this new project. We thank you for all who are here, for all who are involved and all the hands on this project. Creator, we thank you for our communities and our children. Please keep your eye on them. Watch over them, have pity on them, have blessings on them. Creator, we, pl we pray that today goes in a good way and that the speakers listen to their heart. We thank you for these good words. We thank you for water, for food, for shelter, for fire. Hi, you must. Hello, I'm Travis Mavison. I was the 2013-2014 ASMU president. Uh, thank you for having me here today. Um, today is not just the beginning of a new wonderful building at Western Oregon University, but it also marks the end of my undergraduate career here. And as I look back and think about the faculty members, the mentors, and the people that have really shaped my life here, I then look to the future and see what writing Western Oregon, Oregon University graduate means on my resume. And the first thing that comes to mind is pride. Pride of my education here. Before Western, I was very confident that I would receive an education at this university that I could be proud of. As the teachers who have impacted me most throughout my high school career were Western Oregon University alums. In fact, they're the ones who started talking to me about Western and really convinced me that this would be a wonderful institution. Since arriving here four years ago, Western has not let me down. The resources available have allowed me to get the education I need to become a well-competitive adult in today's workforce. With the addition of this new building, Western will be able to further its edu education, dedication sorry, to being a leader in education studies and I would like to thank Dr. Woodcock for this generous donation. Because of your commitment in helping the next generation of teachers, we will be better prepared, better equipped, better equipped and better prepared to have better professionals teaching our students. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. This building and the resources that will be attached will instill a new generation of Western Oregon University graduates, not just with the pride that I feel today, but the constant assurance that WU has the top of the line programs and means to advance their education to teach the new generation. For this program here does not just enrich the lives of the students it teaches, but it is a cycle of WU graduates teaching and shaping the next generation. This donation, this gift, will be a gift that keeps on giving, and I thank you for that. Mark Weiss, President of Western Oregon University. And I would like to thank our speakers for participating today on this groundbreaking ceremony. Thank you all for joining us during commencement weekend. I'm thrilled to make two exciting announcements related to our university. It is my honor to publicly announce the Dare To campaign. 
to advance our College of Education, DARE II. This effort is built upon the well-known quote that was placed above the campus elementary school entrance in 1915. That's 99 years ago, isn't it? Which is now the Instructional Technology Center. The quote, the quote reads, those who dare to teach must never cease to learn. We set out with two missions for this campus. First, to get the necessary funding for a new College of Education building that will result in improved collaboration among faculty, staff, and students. Our second goal is to improve financial aid for our deserving students by raising significant funding for scholarships by the time we meet here again for this ribbon cutting in two years. To accomplish this, we plan to raise $3 million, and I am delighted to say, in large part, due to our honored guest today, Dr. Woodcock, we have secured 55% of that goal and all of the necessary funding for the new College of Education building. Thank you, Dr. Woodcock. Not only are we appreciative of Dr. Wood, that Wood, Dr. Woodcock has chosen to invest in Western Oregon University, we are honored to place his name on our building. Both Dr. Rich Co Woodcock and his wife Elizabeth, along with their family and friends here today, uh, it is now my opportunity opportunity to formally introduce Dr. Woodcock and to share with you a little about his career and impact on education and why it is important to have his name connected to our College of Education. Dr. Woodcock is a native Oregonian and holds academic degrees from one of our sister OUS institutions just down the road. He is a highly esteemed former faculty member here at Western Oregon University from 1957 to 1961, serving as an assistant professor of psychology and reading clinic director. In addition, he is one of only two honorary doctorate degree recipients in the 150 plus year status of this university history to receive a doctorate degree, honorary doctorate degree, in 2006. Following his tenure at then Oregon College of Education, he spent time at other prestigious universities, including Vanderbilt University, University of Southern California, and the University of Virginia. His most noted work to improve education nationwide is as founder of measured Learning Consultants, a test development and research organization. Most significant is his work to create the Woodcock-Johnson Battery of Tests, which grew from his desire to improve and measure an individual's learning ability. His award-winning career illustrates his efforts and dedication to improve learning for all students in Oregon and around the world. Dr. Woodcock's philanthropy aligns directly with Western Oregon's vision of high quality, innovative facilities and affordability. Dr. Woodcock's generous support of the university's mission is an example to all who believe in the power of education. His previous support in funding the David S. Brody Memorial Scholarship speaks directly to WOU's emphasis on serving students of diverse backgrounds and traditionally underserved populations. In fact, the first recipient of this scholarship, Karina Valencia Chavez, Salem Kaiser Principal, uh, joins us here this morning and will be our commencement ceremony speaker later today. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to announce the naming of WOU's new College of Education building 
as the Richard Woodcock Education Center. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Richard Woodcock and his wife Elizabeth, if you wish, to the podium. Thank you, President Weiss, for those kind words and uh, all of that history, <laughs> some of which I've really kind of forgotten. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here today, with, uh, along with this opportunity to contribute to Western Oregon's university's future. Other than teaching extension courses around the state 50 or 60 years ago, an invitation to join the faculty of then Oregon College of Education led to my first time full, my first full-time college teaching job and what a job that was i had to teach five three-hour courses a quarter but the administration took pity on me <laughs> for the first quarter only i only had to teach four courses uh, that first quarter as you know being on a college faculty is a learning experience as well as a teaching experience and that's immortalized really well in the words uh, uh, on what used to be, we used to call it the lab school uh, when we were there. And two of my children, including Diane up here in the front seat, uh, started school uh, there. Much of my learning came from sharing an office with Dr. David Brody, who was a professor of psychology at Oregon College of Education at that time uh, for many years. I don't recall the student body at that time being particularly diverse in respect to ethnicity. For example, I may be incorrect, but I don't recall any black students while I was here. Uh, I don't know about Hispanic students, but I suspect it was a rather small number. We did have a number of students from Hawaii attending OCE under a special program. Back to Dave Brody. He often spent weekends in migrant work camps in the Salem and Woodburn areas. On Mondays, when he would be back in the office, he would relate to me some of his experience that he had over the weekend. And he would tell me about the people he worked with and the problems they had and about their families and the interrelationships, often very fine interrelationships in, in the families uh, of these people. After David passed away, the David Brody Scholarship Fund was established, as uh, President Weiss has already mentioned. And our, one of our goals with these scholarships was to facilitate more diversity on the OCE campus. These scholarships were intended, in general, for bilingual students coming from families with out-of-college education and with limited financial resources. One feature of these scholarships is their provision of living expenses as well as school expenses. The purpose was so students would not need, these students would not need to work while pursuing their degrees. The first recipient uh, of the scholarship, as President Weiss has already mentioned, was Corina Valencia Chavez. You cannot imagine my delight when I learned she was to be our commencement speaker today. <laughs> Uh, this is like, like a, cir a cir coming to full circle, as uh, you mentioned, President Weiss. T last night, Tommy Love sent me an email with some impressive statistics about the diversity of students on the Western Oregon campus today. Among other facts, Tommy told me the Hispanic population on campus is 11%, and the non-white population is approximately 25%. He also reported that Western Oregon is one of the most diverse universities in Oregon and has the highest percentage of Latino students in the Oregon University system. I believe the Brody scholarships have contributed in some part to this diversity and that the new Center for Education, along with other university outreach efforts, will facilitate, will facilitate even more diversity at Western Oregon University. Thank you. just amazing the circle of events that happen here today. We have the Native American blessing on this land, 
which was once land of the tr tribes. We have the Brody Scholarship funding an education for Valencia, for uh, Miss Valencia Chavez. Uh, we have Dr. Woodcock funding our new College of Education building. It's just an incredible, uh, it's, just a, it's, just an, it's just incredible. <laughs> As we move toward the closing of today's ceremony by turning the shovels, I would like to invite the following individuals to join me along with Dr. Woodcock and Ms. Mrs. Jack Jackson Woodcock. So please come forward as I call your name, grab a shovel, and take your appropriate place, and we'll get things started. Remember, we've got a lot of ground to clear for this building. <laughs> Ms. Danny Ledesma, Education Policy Advisor representing Governor Kitzhopper. Ms. Corina Valencia Chavez, and today's commencement speaker. Dr. Steve Sheck, Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Mark Gerard, Dean of the College of Education. Ms. Kim Olson, representing Malum Architects. Mr. Travis Mavison, representing the Associate Students of Western Oregon University. Dr. Emily Pleck, Professor and Chair of Communication Studies and member of the Oregon State Board of Higher Education. Dr. Cheryl Davis, Chair of the Special Education Division. Dr. Maria Dantes Whitney, Chair of the Division of Teacher Education. Mr. Tim Nesbitt, Chair of the Higher Education Coordinating Commission. And Dr. Peggy Peterson, Chair of the Division of Health and Physical Education. Dr. Woodcock, Mrs. Woodcock if you wish. Please. And as we conclude momentarily, I would like to invite you to join us for commencement beginning at 11 o'clock at MacArthur Field. Now, let me get in place and please, those with shovels, follow my instructions. <laughs> On the count of dig, <laughs> we shall commemorate the occasion. Three, two, one, dig. Uh, <laughs>